What's up guys, it's your boy Jay and before we begin, please remember to like, comment and subscribe. Now, the transfer window is over, that's fantastic news. That means now we can just focus on the football like anybody wants to. So if we check the calendar, we've got Stevenage, Grimsby Town, Crawley Town, Barrow and Colchester United. In this episode, we'll be playing Crawley Town, Barrow and Colchester United in this episode. Which means that we got to simulate the first two games. The first one being up against Stevenage with no points. So I just need to see what I can... Yeah, um, okay, yeah, I guess the game wants to change that for me. Go ahead. I don't care. Honestly, go ahead. And Stevenage do not get their points because we have beaten Stevenage 2-0. Even with a debut goal from um, Real Kamei and uh, Heath did also score. So let's go on to the next game against Grimsby Town. So we are here for the away game to Greensby Town. Why is that the kit? No, we ain't playing it. That's fine. Assad and Lopez are back into the starting lineup. All of our team is fresh and we do get the 2-0 win thanks to Taylor, the striker, and Adu, the right winger. All is coming up JFC. What a fantastic start to the season. So let's get to our first game of the episode against Crawley Town. Right, that's nothing really happened in the first half, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for the most outlandish idea that I can. They're playing five at the back, they're annoying me, so I want to play five at the back and annoy them. Right, so all we just got to really do is move you to here and then move Evans in, but just do that as like a quick change. Watts can play attacking. Oh wait, no, just play Carter and then just bring Sahana in and uh, Heath can come back in and get Watts and then... Yeah, that's practically what we got to do. Second off, let's go. It's in! I can't believe it's in! Heath has scored the first goal that we have recorded at Subscribe Park right here in the middle of the Midlands. The 3K Stadium. First time showing it off here. And it is our future star. That has managed to bag that in. A brilliant play from JFC. Mr. Peter Watts gets his third goal of the season. 1-0 to JFC. It was a couple of dangerous minutes towards the end but thanks to our new site thanks to our wonder kid we was able to beat Crawley Town 1-0 at subscribe park an absolute brilliant result for JFC if you do not mind asking me that five to the back completely helped us win that game it was cheesy but you gotta do what you gotta do you know Yes, again, the club itself, we are a very happy bunch. Especially with the win no we got today and the winning streak that we're currently on. I mean, we are currently second place in League Two. And next up, we got Barrow.
Oh my god, it's Dean. It's the right back. The right back has a chance to score. And he does! The right back, Dean, has scored the first goal against Burrow today. I, I don't know what he was doing in that position, but I give him all the credit in the world for trying something as brave as that. I like that from a wing back. I really do. Theodore Dean has scored his first goal of the season. 1-0 to JFC. Oh my God. Right before half time. Watts has the advantage. And he's done it. You knew it was going to be Watts. What a fantastic goal by our wonder kid. This kid will be a Champions League winning star by the time this Korean mode is over. And I know it and you know it. Everyone knows it. Right, we're going to make our three changes now. Actually, there is something that I'm going to try. What are the rules like in League 2? Like, can I make as many changes as I want? Because I want to bring on... Sana. I want to bring on this dude. I want to take off Dean as well for Evans. What about... Wait. I can make five subs here too? I didn't actually know that. I mean, I'm not going to... Well, actually, i got to take off Dean. But I didn't know you could take off five subs now. You know what? The gem ask you might as well get your game out too. Second off, let's go. Oh, okay, we've got a free kick. So, apparently there's a new free kick system. So, move the thing. Step on the ball and the power. Uh, um, so, if this is going that way, maybe... Uh, no, that's going to bring up a curve. That's going to be too high. Uh, yeah, about there-ish. And then just bring a little bit of power on. I don't know if I've done this right. Oh, okay. I nearly did it right. I nearly did it right. Oh, that's great. Just get the shot off. It's done. The youth kid from Poland has got the third goal of the game. And you know what that means? Uh, for the first time in this series, we get to jump to the result. We have won 3-0 away at Barrow. Maybe I might need to consider, like, to ask you a couple of questions. bringing up the difficulty a bit. But we only have one more game this episode, and I've already forgot Thank who you. it was against. I'll see you guys for the game against Colchester. Carry on, carry on. You might be down, but I do ain't. It's in! A two has scored a goal here at Subscribe Park. He is a very happy man, as he should be. He will be a fine right winger when he is ready to be so. But for the moment, he's just focusing on getting those goals. And no one can really blame him for doing something like that. So it's Cholo Adu, our very first signing for JFC, gets his third goal of the season. 1-0 to JFC. Right, half time here. We do currently have the lead, thanks to Adu. But the thing is now, what's going to happen in the second half? We're going to make all five... I still can't believe we can make five changes in a half. So Evans, you are going to... Actually, wait, hold on. No, I know what to do. Bring Sana up. Wait. Oh, Carter's got a book in. Yeah, we're going to bring Evans on. We have to bring Evans on. I do. Thank you for playing, but I'm going to bring on Hanson. Um, 
I'm actually going to bring on Palmer and the Janice. And then finally this kid if we can. No, okay, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to keep this guy out. But I'm going to bring him on instead. Second off, let's go. Ah, oh, Colchester was being lazy straight from the back. And our Polish striker has scored in this episode once again. He is providing to be a very good substitute striker for this team. He might even be for the rest of his career. But straight from the back, Colchester was showing a, a laziness and it was a great example for the Polish striker to come in 2-0. That substitute was useless as JFC has won again 2-0 at Subscribe Park. Very good. Very nice to see that the team is now coherently working together even without an actual good formation plan. Just a moment of time. So we might need to set up that formation idea plan until League One the way that we're going when you know we actually sign players. Thanks so much like of caliber like that we actually know but there is one thing we have to do before we go on to next month and that is if i press r3 the monthly squad report okay i do oh i do can now become a right winger hold on two seconds two seconds two seconds 65 overall that's okay let's get some work done on this lad so when we learn about next season he is purely ready to go Right, we've got two players, 90 and 160. I'll sign the 160 dude, but the 90 dude can just screw off. And we'll do a little bit of a press conference because... Yes, we'll yep, why not? Let's just do a little bit of a press conference because... I like to see the team very happy so they can perform at their highest level. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like comment, subscribe, and peace.